Hello world. This chatty dad one here with you tonight. Um, I got this letter. A friend emailed it to me and I've seen a few other videos on it but I just wanted to share it with some of you if you haven't seen it. This is a letter, letter from the USDA. A little bit closer here. Basically saying um, update on food and nutrition services operations. The Food and Nutrition Services wants to extend our appreciation blah 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 um, basically saying according to the information we have received several states provided the next month issuance files as early as the 15th of the month with that in mind understanding the operational issue and constraints that states face and in the interest of preserving maximum flexibility we are directed we're directing states to hold their November issuance files and delay transmission to state electronic benefit transfers EBT vendors until further notice FNS will continue to work with our states and appreciates your continued support in responding to information requests that will assist in the ultimate course of action if you have any questions contact blah 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 basically saying uh, you know um, don't don't file for next month's EBT uh, orders until further notice well we don't know if that further notice has been given yet since they've made a deal in Congress I wonder and uh, this also has been picked up by the Daily Sheeple as well as other media outlets I wonder if this paper was not issued to get the people to rile up and to cause a problem before it even starts alert government freezes EBT funds order states to withhold transfers to food stamp recipients this week America witnessed a limited crash in the computer systems that magnet that manage electronic benefit transfers across the country within hours of the crash panicked food stamp recipients who were left with no way to feed their families rushed grocery stores shelves to obtain everything they could while the system was down the outage lasted less than a day but it proved that many already knew that America had become a nation so dependent on government subsidies that any glitch in the system could lead to total pandemonium but if you thought that isolated incidents was bad imagine what could happen well uh, next month we say next month because the USDA which oversees the supplemental nutrition assistance program has just issued an order to snap agency director calling for their recip uh, respective states to implement an emergency contingency program because of government funding issues 
Now that should have been resolved. So they're fueling this fire big time. And if they're going to continue with it, this is a uh, pre staged crisis that they are implementing. Here is the letter to the USDA in full. InfoWars has it on there. Crisis. USDA orders states to withhold electronic food stamps. Now, if this really goes down, people are going to flip out. I mean, they're going to flip out. They flipped out on the little glitch that happened. And there are so many people that are dependent upon this stuff that they are going to absolutely go bananas. This right here could be why we have these UN troops, Russian troops, Department of Homeland Security, and all the rest of it going down right here. Sword at the Ready has also picked up the article, the story. Food stamp shutdown threat. Obama to incite riots and chaos. Let's see what I mean? This could be a, a planned deal. This could be the October surprise. Even if this thing doesn't happen, what have we seen? One letter on this thing? A and look at the response that we're getting. One letter. Who knows if it's for real or not. But this thing is going like wildfire. Now everything should be taken care of because they've got the government back up and running now. They've made a deal. Um, so I don't know why this thing was even issued. It should not have been issued until after they knew for sure what was going down. But as we've learned the whole thing has been a staged shutdown, pre-planned thing. Um, you know, I mean, total, total chaos, total anarchy ensued. All this stuff that happened just the other day from this glitch. I'll put the links to these articles below so you can check them out and uh, forgive me for jumbling up my words there and my reading it's pretty late but I wanted to get this out to you because I found several of these articles to link to this so uh, I wanted to get it out I guess it's no joke it's for real Uh, but the U.S. is not defaulting. So the government needs to come out and say, hey, everything's under control. And if we don't see that within the next couple of days, gear up, people. Get prepared. Because when these people don't get their food, they're going to be hungry. We need to help each other. Those that deserve it. Those that need it. Those that are sucking off the system. Need to work for it. They need to uh, do what they need to do to get a bite to eat. We might have to go back to the day where, hey, I'll, uh, I'll mow your grass for a, a meal or whatever. You know, whatever. But there is a lot of people who really need this stuff. And there is a lot of people who don't. 
Um, a lot of illegal immigrants get these benefits that do not deserve them. And as far as I'm concerned, are not entitled to them. <clears throat> Doesn't mean they don't need to be helped if they're starving here. But they don't need to be given food stamps above and over hard-working, middle-class Americans that are just barely making ends meet. My goodness, I could use food stamps myself, but I don't qualify for them because I do make a little money and I do work. So, <laughs> always my last picture of uh, that moon thing. But yeah, I mean... These people just leave the groceries carts stacked full of stuff. And I've, I've seen people buy steaks, cookies, potato chips, soda pops. I mean stuff that's just junk food and, and pleasure food, shrimp, all kind of stuff. I mean stuff that... I can't afford to buy myself and my wife and I both work we both work our asses off and we can't afford steak and shrimp the best thing we get is a roast every now and again and we'll cook it in the crock pot and make a bunch of barbecue out of it for a few days and that's a treat for us but hey, I'm not complaining. It's God provides. The Lord's provided and He's done me. He's, he's done me good. He's blessed me and my family. We love each other and we're decent people. Anyway, let's hope that uh, this doesn't go down. But I'm wondering if it isn't a planned thing. If they haven't got this intentionally or doing this. Inciting this. Oh, we've got this one letter to go by and it's circulated like this. Something's not right there. Something's funny about that. Anyway, I hope everyone's well. This is Chatty Dad 1. God bless and good luck to us all. Help others if you can. Those that need it. And those that uh, need to help themselves, let's try to teach them how. Teach them how to get out there and help us work. Get this country back going again. If we all just did what needs to be done. Look around. Look and see what needs to be fixed. Look and see what needs to be done. And let's do it. Let's get this country going back again. I hope everyone's well. And having a good night. This is Chatty Dad 1. Never give up your guns. Your rights will go right along with them. That's the only ace up our sleeve we have left, people. We can't lose that. It's Chatty Dad 1, over and out.